sixth and eighteen nineteen eighty four, sorry, in Jackson, Michigan, to Ronald Lee and Patricia. Ronald was survived by his children, his mother, his father, grandmother, grandfather, stepchildren, and many family and friends. Ronald was an avid hunter and enjoyed shooting guns. He enjoyed playing softball and loved spending time with his family, especially his children. I know Ron was a great guy. He uh, was with us for a while and I know the time that he was with us was a blessing and he will be missed. All right, so obviously we're all here to uh, send off our friend and teammate and brother, Big Ron, AKA Ron Jones. Um, so we pretty much been playing uh, Big Ron for five or six years. Um, most of us uh, played with him at first every day. Got into the competition scene with with uh, with Ron. Um, I know that uh, he was a fierce friend, and then when he was your friend, you knew it. He didn't like you, you knew it. He was always straight up, didn't pull any punches. Um, I had a chance to talk to his fiance, who every time uh, we were in a party with them, or at least me myself, couldn't stop talking about her. And we have 72 pages, 72 pages of uh, correspondence from Ron, um, pictures of him helping his son with his first soapbox derby car. And, uh, you know, um, I'm gonna miss him uh, saying out of nowhere, giggity, or you know, <laughs> right, or calling me sweet cheeks, or telling me, hey, I, I love you, brother, you know. Um, it's tough. And uh, I didn't want to use, we didn't want to use his children's name out of privacy. Um, but I, I call his fiance Jenny, uh, Mrs. Jones, because um, <laughs> I know that's what he wanted. Um, we're all going to miss him. And uh, luckily, uh, I call his cell phone, even though uh, power's turned off, I can still hear his voice on his voicemail. Um, I don't know, you can't be any closer than we were, other than being like physical family. We spent five, six years with this guy, sometimes every day for years. And, uh... He's gonna be sorely missed. I'm gonna miss him a lot. And that, uh... When our game timer here, um... counts down to ten minutes, we're gonna fire off a shot. Twenty seconds later, another one. 20 seconds later, another one. Out of respect. Oh. And in memory of our brother, Big Ron.
gone, but not forgotten ever. We love you, Ron. Yep. You're gonna be missed. Totally will be missed, bro. <laughs> Rest in peace, Ron. You'll be missed. Remember for having a big Ron. So I guess everybody's trying to kill everybody now. Finish this matchup. Free for all. All together. Yeah. And uh. Death to the red beans. <laughs> after uh, the last tank is killed, we'll uh, give people a chance to talk. About, Oops. Uh, Ron and uh, any memories that uh, they want to share about their time with him. I know that uh, in our uh, in our Discord, uh, Ron posts pictures of uh, him all bundled up, riding bikes with his children and uh, really family oriented. Like if he had stuff to do with his family and we had a competition match, he would uh, he would leave. And he'd be like, sorry guys, I, I, just, I gotta be with my kids. Um, I know that ever since he met Jenny, his fiance, um, we really didn't see him much because couldn't stop bragging and gloating about how wonderful of a person that she was. And I'm really glad that I uh, got the chance to communicate with her a little bit via messenger. Um, and we just want to, all of us all want to tell you and the family that uh, we're sorry for your loss and we feel it with that. And also, at, at any point, if you guys need anything of any sort, don't don't hesitate to reach out to any member of I for an I, and we'll help you with anything you guys may need, one way or yeah. the other. Ron was a Ron, Ron was a member of I for an I, and he stayed I for an I. Um, and he always will be. Yeah, and we're his. Uh, we will never remove him from the I for an I clan. He's going to be permanent fixture, his gamer tag will still be there. Correct. Actually, I'm going to make him uh, XO. Oh, beautiful. Amen. Yep, amen to that. So I guess this time we'll take, if anybody has any stories or anything they want to talk about, now would be a good time to do that. Oh, he had a good... He had a... Um... You had a unique laugh, anyways. A laugh that, like, sticks in your mind, you know? Like you, whenever you heard him laugh, like, he would just go off. And like, it's just like, it would make you laugh because it was so contagious of a laugh. Like, uh, that's what always mm -hmm. got me about him. Yeah. He, was, he was never down. He, he always, like, so high spirited all the time. And I don't know, just, it was really contagious whenever you jumped into good. a party with him. Yeah. You never I had a down he... moment. We had good games. He'd get all worked up. We'd get that really excited, like, oh, you see this guy? Like, you know? Yeah. He's excited when he's on yeah. a good winning streak. It's just funny to see him get in that zone. Just like, man, I'm kicking ass, guys. You better keep up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dang, how many times do you remember that happening? Yeah. I know <laughs> back in big run time. style. Yeah. I know back when I had my clan BK and I for an I first came about. I for an I and AMD were fierce, or er, not AMD, but BK were fierce competitors. Yes. Uh, um, many, many a great uh, matches. Uh, it, on the battlefield, we were competitors, but in parties and platoons, we were great, the greatest of friends. Yep. And Ron, you'll be missed, mm -hmm. bud. And I want to offer my condolences out to his family and UHK and the rest of you I for an I guys. Amen. Thanks, Pat. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that Big Juan would take literally take the time out of his days if you asked him to help you out on a tank or not. And even if you had questions about a certain tank, he would definitely take the time out and help you with it. I'm always grateful for how he taught me how to run a couple of my tanks that I had no idea was running incorrectly. For that, I'm always in his debt for helping my game get better on this game. 
Yeah, he was committed to learning, learning better, especially during comp season. Yeah, yes. And he had he a up. Action to pinball. Oh yeah. Oh, he was like my yeah, always kept it interesting. <laughs> he always kept a tight, tight niche on me when it come into battle. He'd be like, "Burn, stay back, burn, stay back. You're too far. You're gonna get killed, man. Get your ass that back was here." Wow. Wrong. He did it too. Uh, yep. Yeah, but he did it most of the HK. Because <laughs> <laughs> we all know HK likes to run out to the front lines and get his hands dirty. Right. So Ain't nothing wrong with getting hand dirty. Me, me and Ron were, uh, me and Ron were like, no, kind of like peas and carrots. Yeah, peas in a pod. Uh, mm. You know, he, he, he had he had no I problem so telling me telling me, uh, you know, I love you, and uh, you're my brother. And I'm looking right now through the. Uh, <laughs> Uh, messages and stuff. Messages. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we know, brother. We know. It's it's rough. Mm -hmm. He was a great Curse. guy. No giggity. Yeah. No, he could have no problem telling you. You know what his favorite uh, what he was drinking. <laughs> uh huh. I'm gonna miss him calling, calling me homie. <laughs> oh, man. God. He says, uh, where are my homies at? Uh, <laughs> reading the message. You like to, uh, post weird, uh, pictures that I'm not going to, uh, Let's go do this to our conversations. <laughs> Some of them not PG. <laughs> no, no. Here's oh, that was good. wrong. I was having a, was having a problem with, uh, you know, just irritating people in the community, not just being shady and toxic. Mm. And, uh, mm. He uh, sent me a message. Said, you just have to pick your battles, man. I've never been the type of person to pull punches, pull any punches, or sugarcoat stuff. So people tend to think. Then I'm an a-hole. Some people don't say anything about anything because they're afraid of repercussions or losing a friend, etc. I just try to be objective about things and stay out of stuff I can't possibly help. Yeah. He definitely he did tell you how it was. He understood that, and that's what's yeah. why you guys clicked. Yeah. Well, he did that's tell just you how the it was, too. Ron, Ron, regardless, regardless of who was in the party, Ron always kept it real. He kept it yeah. real with himself, and he kept it real with everybody else. He never, mm -hmm. like you said, he never sugarcoated anything. He was, what you seen is what you got. What That was big Ron, you know. Yeah. You know, we, we uh, five, six years with him, you know, we've been, you know, in personal lives. We share everything with each other. I mean, all, eye for an yeah. eye, all of us. You know, um, we talk to each other every day, you know, for hours at a time, you know, yep. and uh, so we know mm -hmm. what's going on in each other's lives, you know, the good, the bad, the, bad. the ugly, yep. Yep. you know, and we're uh, always there for each other, yep. and, you know, Ron, uh, a few times, you know, said, hey, HK, come with me, when we had a big party, he's like, let's go join our own party, and we can, uh, can, uh, we could talk about what's going on with you, and uh, yeah, I did the same with him, you know, and we we all did that with each other. Um, I remember whenever I was in Japan, whenever I first started playing this game, I asked to saw just a platoon of guys playing, and I asked to join y'all, and y'all let me join, and I think mm -hmm. it was Big Ron was the one who said, "Hey, let's get this guy in the clan," and yeah, he was. Only reason I'm still playing this game to, to this day was because of Big Ron. He he helped me get better at this game, and he always made sure I was doing all right. Every time I'd be getting off, even if I was, it sounded like he's having a bad day. He's like, hey, hey, Griff, you doing all right? And I'd be like, oh yeah, man. He always made made it. He always left the party, making sure everyone else felt better. Yeah, that is definitely yep. true. I know a couple of times I came into party ranting or raving about something in real life and 
somehow, before I even left the party, he had me laughing so hard I couldn't believe 99% of the time. Yep. <laughs> He'd make you forget all about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he'd take... He'd take all the jokes just as hard as he dished them out, too. He wasn't scared to... <laughs> exactly. Yeah, sure. How many times did me and Big Ron get in a joke fest? Well, we were hammering <laughs> way at each other. Heck, yeah, it's about every time. time we were in the party. Yep. Every time y'all were in the party, y'all just went at everything. it. everything. So, you know, it's it's also like, uh, you know, we even know special stuff before other people know about is. You know, like, let's yeah. say that uh, Big Ron's going to ask somebody to marry him. Um, you know, he, you know who he talks to all that stuff about? <laughs> yeah, because, yeah. nope. you know, we're not going to tell anyone because we don't know his IRL family. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah. he meant a lot, and we were, uh, yeah, he's going to be missed, and it's just, It'll be. I, it's, <laughs> it's still hard for me believe and I just pray for his kids and his fiance and his family. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there's the redneck weather station picture. Nope, don't want to talk about <laughs> that. <now. laughs> <laughs> you guys all know what I'm talking about, too. Yeah. Uh, that is, uh, I know nothing, El Commandant. <laughs> so, he's like, I'm gonna try to look for some other stuff. He wrote. To us. I just remember when we were having practice before one of our comps, and that, and and we came up with the idea. Several people came up with the idea. That before we leave, we just goof off. So we decided everybody's gonna pick an arty, and we're just gonna have a full out arty brawl. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll remember that because I was last already on our team. <laughs> <laughs> and we were on that uh, horse and Baca. And, and Big Ron loved down, party I'm so the, much. I'm on the one side that had the mm -hmm. creek bed. And he jumped off the creek and killed me. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do in easy one sees against Wathen Toggles. That's that all was a good move. one too. Just even if it knows it's gonna kill him, he's like, "This is gonna be cool. Hold my beer. Mm -hmm. Hold my beer. Holding it, bro. Oh. I live a little on the wild side. If you ever get a chance, uh -huh. HK, yeah, there was a bunch of party messages written there too. You should get a chance to read some of them because some of them were talking about HK and or, uh, um, you about guys. That big you, wrong, yeah. If you guys want to uh, read those, you guys can do that. I'm looking for something. Um, no, I don't know. It's uh, it's, it's hard. Uh, I'm gonna miss his yeah. voice really, really bad because <laughs> um, like in real life, money. Uh, if uh one of us didn't have premium time, um, yep. to compete, um, he would always donate. He, yeah, he would donate. Yep. And we uh, there's. A couple times that he couldn't get premium time, and we always we gave back to each other. No. That'll if, yep. That'll if you wanted a tank so badly but didn't have the money to get it, he would sometimes just surprise you, get the tank for you, and gift it. He that to me. Money is money is such a yep. trivial thing when you're got a brother, brother and, and friends. You would never have to us. ask him to get it. So, He'll just do it for you. Yep. Like, and the same with a lot of other iPhone iPhones. Oh. We do the same thing. <laughs> yep. Oh, and he was really quick. And... He's really quick at comebacks if you tried to diss him too. I remember mm. that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Between the both of us. Jeez, that was up king. Darth knows that uh -huh. one real well. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I'm good with comebacks, but he, he was in another different league. He got the yes. best for me on that. I can definitely admit that. I think I had this one up, and then all of a sudden something comes out of his mouth, and I'm like, dang! I don't even have a comeback for that. And everybody else in the party, including myself, will be laughing at it. Nope. 
I think that's what I'm going to be missing the most from him was the the comeback from us being funny and stupid at the same time. Yeah, it was just what we did. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure also that uh, you know, when it came time to uh, be in the competition, Ron, Ron was one of the guys that we definitely wanted with us. I believe he was one of the the best uh, heavy tankers that we had. Yeah, yes. he was the only one that could he protect was. me when I was yep. doing crazy stuff. <laughs> yes. Well, guys, that was. Uh, That was a really cool thing. I'm glad y'all invited me to be a part of it. Yeah, I'm sorry, Draco, that we that we didn't have any more space in the party. Yeah, it's all right, man. Yeah. I understand. But you can For you sure can talk now. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, for fun to let out the story, bro. <laughs> uh, well, it was good. I got a I got a funny story that in that involves that involves big man. First time we faced eye for an eye. Uh, I'm gonna laugh. He popped my top. <laughs> First shot of the game. Like, I couldn't believe it, dude. Like I routed a corner in a T fifty four and one, and I see him in a conquer, and he one shots me. Just woof, and I'm like, fast. Probably yelling surprise, <laughs> son of a gun. Oh, I guarantee you surprise. <laughs> oh yeah. Smile for the camera, a... you know. <laughs> Say cheese. Poof. He, he one shot me first, first shot of the game. It was funny. It okay. was competition. He always brought out the best of all of us. Yeah, most definitely. I remember the last time I faced I for an eye. Actually, I finally got revenge. It took. It only took two years, guys. I finally got it back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially yeah. how protected he was. Except it was the, the roles too. reversed. He was in a super conquer. I got to be in, in a T-57 heavy, and he ran in a corner. I sent two shells downrange quick, and uh, he was the one. <laughs> I was yeah. like, finally, we're one and one now. <laughs> <laughs> and he was, and he, you know he will definitely, in the next time you saw him, either in a match or oh, in a pub, yeah. he would I definitely him, go for you. There's definitely you a sense of fear. you've seen him in a pub match, you've seen him in a pub match, dude. You knew that he was gonna get you. You knew it. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's definitely because a Drago, I've done tanker. stuff too. I'll be in my like Yag one time and I detonated him and the next game we ended up on enemy teams yet again. And I'm running around and I think it was my Gorilla and he was in an Aldi and as I got spotted I knew I was dead. I only got, I got detected, tried moving an inch, and before I was able to get escaped with my gorilla, I got tactical nuked. Yep. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, it's been, been an honor, guys, to, to be here and be a part of this. Um, so, I must... We appreciate you coming out. No we appreciate problem, you man. coming out. Any thanks for coming, Draco. Uh... HK, thanks for inviting me, guys. I for an eye, guys. I feel for you, man. You know. So, I will leave now. You guys have a nice rest of your night. Dirty girl, yep. good to see you again. Yes, dirty girl's here, yeah. too. Hey. Yeah. Here. Hi. Hey, dirty. Hi, guys. You guys, take it easy. Take it. It's an honor take to be it, here. Take it, Draco. Stay classy. Yeah. See you on the battlefield. <laughs> Thank on, boys. See you on the battlefield. Peace, man. Take care of you. Right. That reminds me of that. What can All I right, say? Fellas, I am going to sign off. I shall be back in a little bit. Uh, All right. Do you know, that. Good service, HK man. If you it was good, need somebody to talk to, brother. You know my number. You got it, man. Hmm. You, you know I'm here for you too, HK. Yep. I can't really believe uh, it. sucks. I love you too, HK. Too much. Mm -hmm. but, yep, I'm, I'm, I'm a crybaby. I'm a crybaby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's alright. It's, it's, it's yeah, crazy. but you bring everybody there's, together. There's so. nothing wrong with that, man. Every, every, you need to cry every now Why? and then. Keep your son <laughs> you're human. HK, we love you too, sweet cheek. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> That's alright. It's yeah. like Matthew 5 4 <laughs> says, God blesses those who mourn, for they will be comforted. So. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Always yeah. good to remember. Mm -hmm. 
So, fellas, I'll catch you here in a little bit. I, you no, you don't need you don't need to. Um, so that was Ron's fiance I was just talking to, right. and uh, she really appreciates all of us and uh, and Burned Out Guy for uh, doing this and streaming it, and uh, her and Ron's kids um, are really excited to uh, watch it and are all going to get together and watch it together. And uh, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I I was gonna I, what I did today. I was going to uh, I asked uh, Jenny if she had a Big Ron's Xbox because we we're going. I was going to have her jump on Ron's account and be in the party with us and drive uh, Big Ron's T10 up to the top of the lighthouse like he was looking down and watching over us oh, cool. when, when, when we fire the shots off. You know, mm -hmm. but, uh, I that think uh, cool. I think his mom, I think his mom had took the Xbox, Ron's Xbox, so for his boys to play with, which uh, I t it's totally understandable. <laughs> and you know, if uh, if his boys are listening and his daughter, um, you have his account information, you can hop on there, and pretty much any of us that uh, you see on his friends list playing tanks if you ever want to talk to us about your dad or any of the stuff we'll always make time for you and uh be happy to play tanks with you and get to know you um you had an awesome dad and uh really what else to say that was good i yeah. impacted a lot of people they really good. He didn't just play games. He made friendships and made bonds. And, you know, we're going to remember all the good things that he did. Yeah, he's like, playing yeah, together, he's so. Like, like, I don't remember anything bad. Like, everything was always doesn't have anything bad about Ron. Yeah. yeah. sarcasm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, bad matches, like maybe bad matches. Maybe bad matches. But bad. never a bad yeah, match. Yeah. He was an instigator. Good. He was an instigator. Oh, yeah. um, he was he was a peacekeeper. Um, he'd be your relationship counselor. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> he'd be your client, so you could be his relationship counselor. Um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> jack of all trades. And uh, but sometimes yeah. he wouldn't know when he was one always of those there. Happening. I remember how excited he was when he met his new fiance. He was, <laughs> was yeah. love struck. He was no, messing yeah. me on Facebook. Like, I just told, like, I just man, told I just met this wonderful woman. <laughs> like, she's just the right? best thing. <laughs> Makes me so happy. Like, uh, he was he was love struck. Yeah, I just told her that uh, I was uh, actually cursing her for uh, cause when she showed up. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much, Ron disappeared. He's like, uh, I'd rather play with yeah. her than play with you guys. You know what I'm saying? That's actually, I think so. <laughs> That's more for yeah. her than for me, but well, I think that uh, it's gonna be missed. So. They asked that question. So, I think that we're probably going to end the stream here. Alrighty. And uh, you know, we love you, Big Wrong. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. You're gonna be missed. Definitely missed. You were you were a staple on the on all of our teams. <laughs> Put your mouth. <laughs> all right, I love you guys. It doesn't and, uh, matter. I'll be around. All right. love you and here I stay classy. Show up in class. All right, you guys have a good night. <laughs>